Little Adventure, we're going to make stuffed shells. But I think I'm just a little bit different than what the box says. Make the pasta. So you're gonna make a large jumbo shell. We're boiling over, and for the pasta, I'm going to put Jimmy Dean Italian pork sausage. I always like to get the Italian, so that way it has Italian seasonings already included. So I'm going to do that. Um, browning the Italian sausage. So that's ready to go. And now, our water is boiling, so we're getting ready to cook them. And then we're gonna cook them for 10 We're using a 32 ounce container of cottage cheese, um, Italian salad, um, shredded cheese, Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna use some Italian seasoning along with an egg to help keep it together. We're gonna turn a container of cottage cheese in there. See? And then we got three fourths cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Hold on. One cup of Italian style cheese, which is no, um, skim, uh, mozzarella cheese, non smoked provolone, Romano, and Parmesan massaggio, shredded finely. And then we're going to mix this all together. So I'm going to do that real quick because I'm still doing this one handed with my camera. So I'll mix this together and then I'll show you. This is it all mixed together. Now, I do something a little bit different. Most times you just stuff this in your, sh your shell and you put some sauce over it and you're done. I like to add my Italian sausage now, so I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm going to add my Italian sausage. Now, the reason I do this is I like having, I like having protein in my pasta dishes and otherwise you don't have protein in your pasta dishes. So, I'm going to mix this together and you're going to see what that looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spread some pasta sauce on the bottom so that way the shells have I'm gonna sit on my hat, um, sprayed with pan or cooking spray as well to keep them from sticking. But I always put pasta on the bottom so it has that pasta flavor and everything on there. It's just a layer, it's not, it doesn't have to be thick or anything, it's a layer. Okay, and roasted garlic. And I put about yeah, three fourths of it in there. And then I also add a pizza sauce to it. I don't know why, I just like the combo with a little bit different flavor. Add about half a jar of pizza sauce and I stir it together and that's going to go over my shells. But really you can use any pasta sauce you want. If you're ambitious you can make your own pasta sauce. I am just not ambitious. I'm perfectly fine with buying store-bought pasta sauce. But do whatever you want because it's your baking or sorry your cooking. Baking, cooking, all the same. It's you doing it. It's whatever you want, whatever tastes good to you. So what I'm going to do is take about a tablespoon, teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever of my cheese. Stick it in here, fill it up as full as I can get it. Like that. Just a little bit more. Alright, and then I'm gonna stick it over here into my pan. Okay? I'm gonna keep doing that until all of my shells are filled up. And just keep on going along until I fill all my shells up. Now, what I do like to do is to add a little bit of spice. Well, not spice, but change it up just a little bit. And I like to add, once I can, I can get this stuff in here. It's being difficult. into the middle. And just put a little sauce on top. It's like a nice little surprise in your mouth. Alright, so I'm gonna fill up my dish and then I'll get back to you. And show you the rest. Putting the shells together. And now I'm going to lightly cover them with sauce. Just a little bit to start out with. And then I'm going to cover them with cheese. And then a little bit more sauce.
I have all the cheese on and the sauce on. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 40 minutes until it's melted and bubbly. I'm gonna put some aluminum foil on top of it for half an hour and take it off for the last 10, 15 minutes to let it melt and look pretty. I'm gonna see it when it's done. We just pulled our stuffed shells out of the oven and they are nice and melted and bubbly. So thank you for joining us for today's little adventure and please join us for next today's little adventure.